A new community art project will soon grace the Ben Hill Recreation Center. City Talk's Troy Danikis takes us to the rec center where community members are building upon an already impressive display of art citywide. Creativity is bursting at the seams at one of the city's recreation centers. We're carving bricks this weekend for a mural, a relief mural, um, that's going to go into the addition for Ben Hill Recreation Center. Members of the community are coming together for this project. The mural will complement a similar one built at the center two decades ago. Artist Marianne Weinberg Benson was there and she remembers that initial project well. Um, 20 years ago, the city of Atlanta put out a call for artists to submit to design some artwork for this recreation center. I teamed up with two other artists and the three of us designed and installed and created the sculpture of the tower, um, the light, the wind chime, and then the three of us together with the community carved the bricks that are on either side of the front door. Marianne hopes that the new brick mural will be an inspiration for future generations. So they'll be here for you to bring your children and your grandchildren to see them. Isn't that exciting? They'll be here forever. The Ben Hill Brick Carving Project is just one of the hundreds of art projects, big and small, that populate every area of the city. Our Cultural Affairs Division um, have been extremely um, active and probably, I, I would venture, one of the best in the country in terms of public art, incorporating it into not just the big public spaces and the big public buildings, but the neighborhood parks and the neighborhood recreation centers. I mean, I think it's a really unique Atlanta attribute that we've got this much art. Over the past several months, the city has hosted numerous art projects. Elevate Atlanta brought dozens of artists to the city where they contributed public art, like these murals on some of South Broad Street's abandoned buildings. And in March, three sculptures from Mexican artist Ivan Domenge were added to Freedom Park, a space dedicated to displaying public art. But for many folks, the smaller projects are the ones that resonate the most within the community. Marianne remembers the reaction she got from kids when the first brick murals were installed at Ben Hill. Once we got the first quilt up that the community had carved, and I was here working with the masons installing the tower, I would have all these young people that would come up and say, Brick Lady, Brick Lady, this is my brick. And they would point to their brick with such pride. And with nearly 300 bricks to carve their creativity into, that's going to be a lot of fond memories for these kids to look back on in another 20 years. For City Talk, I'm Troy Danicus. The mural is scheduled to be installed towards the end of the month. Public art is one of Mayor Reed's signature initiatives. He plans to increase the city's arts budget by 25% for fiscal year 2014. After weeks of delays due to the rain, crews were finally able to install a new brick mural at Ben Hill Recreation Center. In May, City Talk told you about community members coming together to carve their designs into individual bricks. Well, those bricks are now up for everyone to see. Anybody that carved one of those bricks owns a part of this building because they made that brick and it's now forever in that wall and so it gives a great sense of ownership. This current project complements the other brick artwork installed here two decades ago.